Hi, I'm Jaden Garcia and I'm presenting today the Big Bang Theory in three minutes. Important to know, this is just a theory. Time equals zero. It's hard to imagine, but at this moment there was nothing. No space, no time. The only thing that existed was energy. And all this energy was concentrated into a single point called singularity. We are now one ten million trillion trillion trillionths of a second into the Big Bang. Time and space had finally begun, and the universe was expanding ever so rapidly. Temperatures were exceeding 100 million trillion trillion degrees Celsius. We are now one ten billion trillion trillionths of a second after the Big Bang. The universe was about the size of a pea. Matter existed in the forms of electrons and positrons. These electrons and positrons were colliding with each other, releasing huge amounts of energy in the form of light. This was the first time light existed in the universe. Just one hundredth of a second after the Big Bang, the universe was still expanding and cooling rapidly. It had grown now to the size of our solar system, but there was still no such thing as an atom. We're at one second after the Big Bang. The universe was big, but probably only a thousandth of the size it is today. It was also cooling, now down to a mere 10 billion degrees Celsius. Five minutes into the Big Bang, the nuclei of hydrogen, helium, and lithium had formed among a sea of electrons. 300,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe was around one thousandth of its current size. It had cooled to around 3,000 degrees Celsius. Electrons had slowed down enough to be captured by the nuclei of hydrogen, helium, and lithium. These formed the first atoms. Around 200 million years after the Big Bang, the first stars had begun to appear. As gravity pulled atoms of hydrogen, helium, and lithium together. Nuclear reactions took place inside the stars, causing the nuclei of the atoms to fuse together to form heavier nuclei. Around some of the newly forming stars, some of the swirling clouds of matter cooled and formed clumps. This is how planets began to form. One billion years after the Big Bang, the universe was beginning to become a little lumpy. The force of gravity pulled matter towards the lumpier regions, causing the first galaxies to form. 13 billion years after the initial expansion of the universe, star cycles begin to end, exploding, sending gases and particles through the vastness of the universe. These are soon to be the new lives of stars and planets.